Good morning and welcome to another edition of the reading of the uh, book of the prophet Jeremiah chapter 15 and 16. Jeremiah chapter 15 and 16. Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this place. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Where will shall we go forth? Then thou shalt say, tell them, Thus says the Lord, Such as are for death to death, and such as are for sword to sword, and such are as for famine to famine, and uh, to the such as are for captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, say the Lord, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the heavens, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. And I will cause them to be removed in all kingdoms of the earth because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. For who shall have pity on thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go as I to ask how thou doest? For thou hast forsaken me, says the Lord, thou art gone backward, therefore will I stretch my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting, and I will fan them with the fan in the gates of the land, I will bereave them of children, I will destroy my people, since they return not from their ways. Their widows are increased to me above the sands of the seas, I have brought upon them against the mother of the young men a spoiler at noonday, I have caused him to fall upon it suddenly, and the terrors upon the city. She that has borne seven languishes, she has given up ghost. Her son is gone down while it was at day. She has been ashamed and confounded. And the residue of them will I deliver to the soul before their enemies, says the Lord. Woe is me, my mother, that thou hast borne me a man of strife and a man of contention for the whole earth. I have neither lent on usury, nor men have lent, me, lent to me on usury. Yet every one of them doth curse me. The Lord said, Verily, it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Shall I and break the northern iron and the steel? Thy substance and thy treasures will I give to the spoil without price, and that for all thy sins, even in all thy borders. But I will make thee to pass with thine enemies into a land which thou knowest not, for a fire is kindled in my anger which shall burn upon you. O Lord, thou knowest, remember me and visit me and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Thy words were found and I did eat them. Thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. I sat not in the assembly of mockers, nor rejoiced. I sat alone because of thy hand, for thou hast filled me with indignation. Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuseth to be healed? Wilt thou be altogether unto me as a liar and as waters that fail? Therefore says the Lord, if thou return, then will I bring thee again, and thou shalt stand before me. And I've if thou take forth the precious from the wild, thou shalt be as my mouth. Let them return unto thee, but return not thou unto them. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. Thank you. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, says the Lord. Amen. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Chapter 16, the word of the Lord came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus is the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning the mothers that bear them, and concerning the fathers that beget them in this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as a dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth. For thus says the Lord, Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from these people, even loving kindnesses and mercies. Both the great and the small shall die in this land, they shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. 
Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead. Neither shall men give them a cup of consolation to drink for the father or their mother. Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place, out of this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore, shalt the Lord pronounce all this great evil against us or what is our iniquity or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God thou shalt say unto them because your fathers have forsaken me says the Lord you and walked after other gods and have served them and have worshipped them and have forsaken me and have not kept my law and ye have done worse than your fathers for behold, evoke every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore will I cast you out of this land, into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor, nor your fathers. And there shall ye say, serve other gods day and night, where I will not shew you favor. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that it shall be no more said, The Lord liveth and brought up children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought the children out of the land Egypt of Israel from the land of the north and from the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I have gave unto their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishers, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are all over their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of the detestable and abominable things O Lord my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and things wherein there is no profit shall a man make gods that are no gods unto himself therefore behold i will this once cause them to know i will cause them to know mine hand and my might and they shall know that my name is the lord the chapters 15 and 16 of the book of the prophet the prophet of prophet jeremiah